A whole host of activities is on tap this weekend in Lowell, aimed at keeping the showboat afloat. I'm Bill Quiet, and we'll take a look at Save the Showboat when Eyewitness News continues. Lowell without its showboat would be a city with an identity crisis, and it looked like it was about to happen. The showboat found itself $45,000 in debt, and its directors had decided to suspend the 1983 season when what should occur? Welcome to the WCUZ Budweiser Save Our Showboat Softball Classic. That's quite a mouthful, and it's all the brainchild of WCUZ Public Relations Director Kevin Reynolds. Yeah, I was looking for uh, an opportunity to put together a promotion that included uh, a softball tournament and a concert. And when I heard that the Lowell Showboat was financially uh, endangered, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, a CUZ promotion, and actually to be able to help the community. The Showboat is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of people, it's a historic entertainment landmark in West Michigan. It's one of the very few showboats uh, in existence that actually uh, can run and, and has a stage built specifically for it and uh, can put on shows. Reynolds' original plan for a 32-team double elimination softball tournament sparked community interest and the enthusiasm spread like wildfire. From there, things just started adding on. We've got uh, uh, a chili cook-off, a carnival, um, live music all afternoon in the amphitheater. We've got concession stands all over the place. Uh, the big parade that's going to start any minute now. And uh, a lot of peripheral activities that uh, a lot of people have pitched in and, and got involved in. Less than perfect weather helped hold the crowd down and forced organizers to adjust downward their expected take from the event. They say the weekend should net the showboat about $15,000 rather than the $20,000 originally planned. Still, all in all, it should go a long way towards saving the showboat and saving Lowell from having to come up with a different nickname. The Save Our Showboat weekend continues through Sunday. In Lowell, I'm Bill Quiet, TV 13 Eyewitness News.